China has just made a monumental leap in space technology with the launch of Shijian-19, its first reusable and returnable test satellite. This mission, conducted aboard a long March 2D rocket, isn't just a routine launch. It's a demonstration of China's technological prowess and a game-changer for satellite missions worldwide. Shijian-19 boasts revolutionary re-entry capabilities, allowing it to return to Earth safely and be reused for future missions. This breakthrough will reduce operational costs and open new possibilities for space exploration. But that's not all. Shijian-19 is packed with scientific experiments and payloads from five countries, making it a global platform for groundbreaking research in microgravity and space breeding. Let's dive into why Shijian-19 matters so much. Shijian-19 is not just another satellite launch, it's a leap forward in satellite technology and a testament to China's growing prowess in space exploration. The primary technological breakthrough of this satellite is its reusability, a feature that sets it apart from most conventional satellites. Developed by the China Academy of Space Technology, Shijian-19 was designed to be both reusable and returnable, offering a level of versatility that has not been seen in previous Chinese missions. Reusability is a game-changer for space exploration. In the past, satellites were often rendered obsolete after completing their missions or upon returning to Earth, necessitating expensive replacements. Shijian-19, however, is built with advanced re-entry technology that enables it to return safely to Earth after its mission, making it possible to reuse the satellite for future missions. This reusability means China can save on production and launch costs, allowing for more frequent launches and space experiments. By comparison, reusability has been a cornerstone of other countries' space programs, such as SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets, but Shijian-19 is the first satellite of its kind in China's arsenal. Another key technological feature of Shijian-19 is its enhanced payload capacity. The satellite's robust structure allows it to carry a larger number of scientific instruments and experimental payloads, making it ideal for testing various technologies and conducting complex experiments. The satellite is equipped with microgravity support, high payload capacity, and advanced re-entry capabilities, all of which are crucial for conducting in-orbit research and technology validation. The technological advancements in Shijian-19 are not just about reducing costs, they also pave the way for a new generation of more sophisticated, versatile satellites that can adapt to a wider range of scientific and commercial missions. The satellite's success in validating these capabilities will significantly contribute to the development of future reusable spacecraft, both for China and its international partners. Shijian-19's success is a clear signal that China's space program is moving toward a more sustainable and cost-effective model of satellite development. The data gathered from this mission will be instrumental in the design of next-generation satellites and reusable space vehicles. But Shijian-19's technological innovations are only part of the story. Let's explore its scientific applications in more detail in the next section. Beyond its technological breakthroughs, Shijian-19 serves as a unique platform for scientific research, offering a plethora of opportunities to explore the effects of microgravity and space environments on various biological and material sciences. One of the satellite's primary missions is to conduct space breeding experiments, a fascinating process that uses the unique conditions of space to induce genetic mutations in plant seeds. Space breeding experiments have been a key area of research for decades, but Shijian-19's capabilities take it to the next level. The satellite carries a range of plant seeds that will be exposed to the space environment for an extended period. The microgravity and exposure to cosmic radiation accelerate genetic mutations, often resulting in new traits that can enhance crop yields, disease resistance, or adaptability to extreme environmental conditions. Such innovations could play a crucial role in global food security, offering solutions for regions with harsh growing conditions. Shijin-19 is equipped with instruments for studying microgravity physics and space life sciences. The satellite will carry out a series of tests to understand how materials and biological systems react under the unique conditions of space. 
For instance, one of its experiments involves testing the durability and efficiency of new materials developed specifically for space applications. The results from these experiments could lead to the development of new materials for use in aerospace engineering, potentially making future spacecraft lighter, stronger, and more resilient to the harsh conditions of space travel. Moreover, the satellite will be used to test various domestically developed electronic components and sensors. The data gathered will help in refining these components, making them more efficient and reliable for future missions. This focus on in-orbit technology validation is a strategic move, ensuring that China can independently produce advanced technologies for its space missions without relying on foreign imports. Xijin-19 is not just a national endeavor, it is also a symbol of China's growing role in international space research. The satellite carries payloads from five countries, including Thailand and Pakistan, and serves as a platform for a variety of international experiments. This level of international cooperation is a clear indicator that China aims to position itself as a key player in global space research and innovation. The international payloads aboard Shijian-19 cover a diverse range of scientific fields, from materials science to biological experiments. This collaborative effort allows other countries to benefit from Shijian-19's advanced capabilities without having to invest in their own space infrastructure. For instance, the Thai payloads are focused on testing the effects of space environments on electronic components while the Pakistani payloads involve biological experiments aimed at understanding the behavior of certain microorganisms in microgravity. These experiments will yield data that can be shared among the participating countries, fostering a spirit of cooperation and mutual benefit. Moreover, this mission showcases China's willingness to open its space missions to international partners, something that has traditionally been the domain of space agencies like NASA or the European Space Agency. By involving multiple countries in its missions, China is not only strengthening its diplomatic ties, but also creating a new model of international collaboration. This approach will likely encourage more countries to engage in joint missions with China, further integrating the global space community. The implications of this collaboration extend beyond scientific research. As more countries become involved in China's space missions, they are more likely to align with China's broader goals in space exploration and technology development. This could pave the way for joint lunar missions, Mars exploration, and perhaps even the establishment of international space stations in the future. The launch of Shijian-19 is not just a technological or scientific milestone, it's a diplomatic one as well. It reflects China's ambitions to be a leader in both the scientific and geopolitical realms of space exploration. The success of this mission will serve as a model for future collaborations, making space exploration a truly global endeavor. In this video, we have learned about China's groundbreaking Shijian-19 satellite, its technological advancements, and its scientific applications, as well as its role in fostering international collaboration. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. Thank you for watching and see you next time.